not ashamed not ashamed a lot of you requested that i do a bag haul and as the title suggests today i'm doing a massive bag haul from my collection this is my existing collection wow okay i don't think i need any of this script is not going to work today wow so i pulled out all the bags that i have and i'm going to talk you through all of them one by one starting with the first ever ferragamo bag that i bought from the brand this one it's the betula bag now you'll find all my bags stuffed with a lot of stuffing because this is how i retain their shape and maybe towards the end of the video i'll also show you how to take care of your bags so as to increase the longevity of the bag and to maintain their shine and their shape so this bag this i use it on a daily basis for almost almost a year really misused the bag but it's still the leather is absolutely intact it's in this uh, grass grain leather so that your you know your nails or scratches are not visible and that's why it has been such a durable bag uh, i love the fact that they have these dots uh, on the bottom of the bag so that when you place the bag on a table or on a rough surface the leather doesn't really get in contact with the surface and your bag stays protected it's a lovely shoulder bag carries a lot this is going to turn out to be a very long video if i keep going on and on about the bag so i'm just going to very quickly talk about some of the highlights of the bag otherwise this is going to be an hour long video and nobody wants to see an hour long video talking about bags this is what the bag looks like empty i can easily fit in maybe a small ipad let me show it to you yeah very easily let me try and see if i can fit in my big laptop also this is the 13 inch oh wow so yeah it can store my laptop and i use it on a regular basis for almost a year and a half loved it remember i bought them all at a massive discount because i was working with the brand and didn't have to spend the same amount as a customer would but otherwise my god this bag is such a stunner next up let me talk about a style of bag that i have maybe 6 or 7 bags the sofia the most iconic bag from ferragamo it's the top handle bag named after the actress in the late 1930s and 40s 40s or 50s yeah she was the inspiration and the muse behind this bag ferragamo himself designed it for the actress and named the bag sofia after the actress it's a top handle bag which stores quite a lot now this bag i haven't used at all it's absolutely brand new um and i deliberately didn't want to use it because i already have a lot of bags and i thought that this could be a bag that i pass on to maybe my daughter or my niece and nephew or someone very close to me um it comes with a detachable uh, shoulder strap um and it's exotic so this one is made out of alligator skin i don't want to sound insensitive but i feel like all these bags are made out of uh, animal leather so if this disturbs you you may not want to watch this video but if you are interested in knowing further about the bag collection please continue watching and it has a back pocket where you can place your phone it has a magnetic clasp so nothing gets lost comes with a salvatore ferragamo made in italy uh, embossed on it uh, ferragamo written on the uh, ganchio as well so this is called the ganchio it opens like that yeah and it's quite stuffed i haven't used this bag even once um i have a similar bag which is the baby version of it this is what it looks like you've seen me wear this a lot and i've traveled with it it looks tiny but my god it stores a ton of stuff it again comes with um a shoulder strap which also goes cross body which is very handy and because of the width of it the bottom is quite uh big so you can store quite a lot The third sal Ferragamo Sofia that I wanted to show you guys is this uh, multicolored Ferragamo bag. The difference between the other two is that this one has a zip on both the back as well as the front. So nothing's falling out of the bag. And um again comes with a strap 
and very spacious. May not be able to carry your laptop, but um, it looks uber chic, goes with both Indian, Western, casual. The fourth Sophia that I wanted to show you guys was this one. I think this is from their 2015 collection. They did their resort collection and it had a lot of darting and tassels. So this is the one from there. Uh, it's part leather, part canvas, and it has these darts going all the way um, again comes with a zip there's no back pocket in this one but comes with a zip and has a detachable strap somewhere underneath there's so much stuffing so I'm not gonna take all of that out uh, but you've seen me carry this this bag and pair it with multiple outfits another beautiful bag I love the shape of these bags they look really really uh, high-end so to say uh, next up is another bag so i had another black one in this the same bag with the silver hardware but sadly it got spoiled um, there was a little bit of an accident at a restaurant where a candle was spilled over my bag and it burnt the entire leather in an instant and it was yeah quite traumatic so i went and bought myself a tan bag this one has been used quite a lot comes with a zip on the back and inside and uh, of course a strap and this is the strap um, the beauty of it is it's lined in leather not suede not fabric it's lined in leather which is only going to increase the longevity of the bag um, now mind you leather bags tend to smell slightly very slightly I'm pretty used to the smell in fact I love that smell because it reminds me of being in the store for hours at ends being and yeah it, it doesn't bother me anymore in fact it just it has a very reminiscing uh, brings back a lot of memories sort of a smell now talking about the last Sophia bag which is a very unique Sophia bag it's made out of cork you've seen me carry this a few times it has a silver hardware another zip detail in the back and the beauty of it is that it's made out of cork so I'll tell you a little bit of history behind it so when World War II happened a lot of suppliers stopped supplying um, leather to Italy and that's when brands such as Ferragamo, Gucci and other brands had to really innovate and disrupt the market and what Ferragamo started to do is he started to make bags and shoes made out of cork which was easily available Italian wines cork goes on top of it this is an ode to Ferragamo and his innovation I had to have this in my closet and it's one of my most favorite bags it's it's a rather delicate bag it's not a bag that you can carry on a daily basis in fact I barely ever take it out um, but for shoots I do take it out because it's such a neutral bag that goes with almost everything but yeah it's 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 quite a pretty bag okay next up I want to talk about the verve bag I think it was it was introduced in the year 2014 and I have four of them in different colors let me talk about the first one which is this beautiful bright orange verve bag in a wicker finish it's an imitation wicker it's not wicker it's made out of gross grain and leather with gold hardware and has a zip on the top so nothing spells spills out it comes with a shoulder strap so you can wear the bag with the shoulder strap it looks absolutely brand new I've worn it a few times not many times because it's not a bag that you carry to work specifically you I love wearing it for brunches especially to bring out a little bit of uh, you know a burst of color when I'm wearing a muted outfit it's a great color to have in your closet very unexpected a lot of people don't have orange bags in their wardrobe so yeah this is the small version of the verve bag very summary next up I have another bright colored verve bag this one is a blue colored verve bag silver hardware this again has a top zip and the beauty of these big bags these verve bags that I didn't show you uh, 
here as well is that it has these side pockets which you can close with a zip so the zips open like this wow i still have the plastic on so the zip opens like this and you can store your phone or anything small it's quite stuffed right now to retain the shape so i'm not going to open them but uh, this one doesn't come with a shoulder strap because hello it's supposed to be a shoulder bag but uh, such a beautiful and unexpected color to have in your wardrobe and it doesn't scratch i can scratch it as much as i want to you can really tell all these bags took hours and hours of precision handwork to make these bags most of these luxury brands the bags are made with hand or at least finished by hand a lot parts of it are maybe made by machine and then they stitch it all together to form the bag including the trims like they literally paint the trims by hand and i've seen it in the factory myself so beautiful next up i wanted to talk about an office bag that really got abused quite a bit by me i used to wear this on a regular basis could fit in my water bottle my lunch box my ipad my um uh, sunglasses wallet everything in this bag and it's it's quite big comes with this detachable pouch of sorts where you can throw in maybe your keys things that are tiny and may get lost in such a big bag but i would also keep a lot of my maybe my car keys or id card in my in the side pockets which was very easy to access um this is again the verve bag this is the largest size that they retail and this one is in gold hardware i'll show you i have another one in the same color but a very different uh, finish so this is the next one that i wanted to show you guys again i wanted to buy something that i can wear to work on a regular basis this is again with a grass green leather so that you don't end up scratching it on a regular basis comes with a top zip that one does not come with top zip so it's also very travel friendly you can store a lot i've literally stuffed a cushion inside it to retain its shape and yeah this is how the bag looks the shoulder bag carries a truckload of stuff which is always beneficial okay before we move on to more bags cuz there are quite a few I want to talk to you guys about a vintage find that I found at the Ferragamo Museum which looks like a portly. You guys have seen me wear it if you've watched my videos and this is what the bag looks like. The beauty of this bag is that it's actually in the form of a pochette which is like a purse and it has these gorgeous shoe enclosures which open up like this. to open the bag very beautiful lined in leather and some crochet detail with sequins but this is what the bag looks like such a unique find i was quite glad to find it um i'm just going to go through a few of my clutches before we move on to some more bags this one is again one of the vintage finds i think this was made in 2008 um and it is a clutch so it's an evening clutch from Ferragamo it has a tiny bit of Ferragamo written on it now the beauty of Ferragamo bags is that most of these bags don't scream Salvatore Ferragamo right um and that to me is quite luxury and i latched on to that trend way before it actually became a trend body of it is satin with leather finish it's quite a heavy piece but it goes pretty well i do have to get these fixed there's there's some pieces that are coming off but otherwise my god it's such an interesting bag to have uh, next up there are two clutches that i wanted to talk to you guys about and one that needs a little bit of fixing you guys have never seen me wear them perhaps i've carried them once or twice these satin clutches from ferragamo this one really goes with the outfit that i'm wearing right now um it opens up like this it's made out of satin and um, again this one also has the same chain which is detachable inside and uh, yeah you can just detach it and wear it as a neck piece oh gorgeous it can really elevate any outfit so this is what it looks like i thought i'll show it to you a little up close so this is a gold clutch from ferragamo with the vara bow this is called the vara bow and um, the beauty of it is it's actually like a wallet 
Now just look at this. So it has card compartments here. As you can see. And I can stuff money or documents inside like this. Um, it also has like a little pocket here where I usually keep my lipstick and another one here and when you're on the dance floor you don't want to be carrying your clutch all the time like this you can just pull out the string wear it as a crossbody and you're ready to go next up is another wristlet because it is literally a wristlet uh, it opens like this it has a chain inside and it has uh, a strap that goes here so you can carry it as a wristlet some big bags before we move on to some more small bags next up is this massive bag that i have this one was also an office wear bag comes with a shoulder strap um, has partial leather lining and then partial fabric lining and again stuffed with a lot of stuff has the ganchillo on the sides in the front gold hardware very comfortable to carry i used to throw my ipad and go to a cafe and sit there and just the leather is so soft and premium this bag was bought in 2012 guys i'll show you another office bag that i recently pulled out i've had it in my closet for quite some time but i wasn't using it and i haven't taken it out yet this bag it's an office bag carries a lot of stuff very very smart and sophisticated has two compartments inside and two big compartments here i'm sure there's going to be an opportunity where i'm back to going to a full-time office and i may take this one out other bag which hasn't been used to the point that it hasn't been used at all like i've not even taken out the plastic of it the interesting part about this bag is a uh, small pocket here where you can put your phone and the beauty of it is it's an expandable bag leather underneath how gorgeous is this doesn't show but it has like a peekaboo leather inside has a magnetic clasp here which opens up like this very smart shoulder bag looks still has that new fresh leather smell which is absolutely mesmerizing please let me know in the comment section below if this is the biggest bag haul that you've ever seen because it's pretty exhausting and I had no idea that I had so many bags till I actually pulled all of them out. I always used to think maybe I have 30 bags, I have 30 bags and I used to say that to myself that yeah, yeah you just have 30 bags which is fine because you worked in this industry for so long and you've collected bags over a period of time but I have 39 bags and this is including the luggage that I have. I wanted to talk to you guys about the W bag. I have two bags from that collection. It's called the W bag, comes with this strappy thing which says Salvatore Ferragamo um, and opens up like this, has a long strap underneath which is detachable so it can be made into a shoulder bag as well. Magnetic clasp, two compartments and a very smart bag to carry stores a lot of things and wear it as a crossbody as well and a wine color which is also a color which just is different not everybody carries a wine color bag which in my opinion makes you different unique and um, we're all about that now the next W bag that I have is the clutch version of it again the same uh, tag sort of a thing hanging okay yeah so it comes with a strap that you can basically put and wear it as a shoulder i just usually keep it inside a very beautiful color a tan color this is a soft leather so it can get scratched so i always keep it with a lot of love and care now moving on to two more big office bags and then i only have small bags to share with you this is what the bag looks like uh, empty this is made out of 100 percent leather no canvas here comes with a gross grain this needs dry cleaning it used to be white now it's gray and uh, you can store a lot of it it has these studs this is again from the resort collection which got released in 2015 and i bought this bag back then used it every single day for office for almost two years i was using this bag 
it can store a lot it can carry a lot which is always a plus point and i'm always looking for bag especially for office where i can store my laptop as well oh so yeah the laptop sleeve goes inside talking about laptop sleeves i wanted to show you guys a laptop sleeve from ferragamo so this is from the menswear collection but i quite liked it because it didn't have a strap or anything it was just a sleeve made out of pure leather no branding nothing there was just a little bit of salvatore ferragamo written uh here embossed um and has this beautiful sage green underneath if i was traveling and i wanted to protect both my ipads i would store them underneath and close it This is the last bag that I bought from Ferragamo before I left and I thought it was a collector's piece and I didn't want to give up on it so I bought it full price because there were just limited pieces available in the market. It's basically a collaboration with Sara Battaglia. She's a famous designer uh based out of Milan and this is what the card says to highlight its long-lasting commitment to promoting new talent craftsmanship and creativity. Salvatore Ferragamo presents a women's leather goods collection designed in collaboration with Italian designer Sara Battaglia. Um she's all about colors and she uses a lot of colors in her collection and hence this bag also is a colorful one. It has beautiful stitching all over the bag's front and the back. and the chain is absolutely gorgeous something i've never seen in any of the ferragamo bags and i thought um uh, it's such a collector's piece i have to have it in my closet uh made out of pure leather has these colorful leather trims on the sides the felt that it comes in it's a velvet felt this is what it looks like for you to store the bag absolutely a must have in my opinion okay next up another bag that you've seen me carry very often a top handle bag which is also a cross body i carried it to beijing when we were traveling and what i ended up doing is i removed the straps it has a cross body leather strap i removed it and i bought a strap which is a thicker strap um from amazon and changed that so that the wear is a lot more comfortable and this bag's been to the great wall of china by the way okay, moving on to another bag that i have and you guys have seen me wear it is This one it's a black evening bag. Wow, I stuffed it quite a bit and has this strap which can be expanded. Now the beauty of Ferragamo bags is that most of their straps are detachable so you can wear it both in the evening as well as the morning. In the morning you can have the strap long enough to wear it on your shoulders and in the evening you can just maybe carry it as a top handle. They're all removable which makes it such a versatile collection now one last office bag is this massive bag this one again holds a lot of stuff it's very convenient if you want to travel with it because you can keep all your small stuff that is more likely to fall out of the bag in the zips neck pillow etc can go here uh, a top handle bag but it also comes with a strap which goes on the sides so you can even carry it as a shoulder bag very convenient very sturdy very soft scratch resistant which is always a plus point in my opinion wow there's a bag in a bag perhaps i'm going to talk about caring instructions of these luxury bags in a different video because this is seeming like it's going to be a very long one so this bag it's one of my most used bags it's made out of leather but uh, not the most premium leathers it's also one of the cheapest bags from ferragamo that i have uh the leather's already wearing off um but a beautiful red bag easy to carry it's a cross body bag with a detachable strap top handle is a thing with ferragamo has this easy compartment to keep all your stuff i would this was my weekend bag like wherever i would go i would just carry this bag and like really abuse the shit really abuse really abuse it now my last clutch is i forgot to talk to you guys about is this structured clutch it is such a stunner so you press the top and that's how it opens this is what it looks like it has a chain underneath which is not detachable so i usually just throw it in the bag uh but this chain can be worn as a cross body and it's a metal clutch which has very small little ferragamo details so there's a 
Ferragamo detail on the top and there is a tiny bow here which says Ferragamo but it is such a beautiful bag. Next up, let me talk about this clutch. It's the Vara clutch. It's called the Vara clutch thankfully so it's easy for me to remember. With the Vara bow, it's a crossbody bag which is evening bag. I have a dupatta or a scarf in it to store it and um, a chain strap that you can wear as a crossbody in the evening user-friendly sort of a bag it goes with almost everything looks very very um, chic to this white bag <laughs> this is also from the 2015 collection the resort collection and uh, it's again a bag which is uh, very very versatile goes with so many outfits you can remove the chain and use it as a wear it as a clutch or you can use it as a shoulder bag next i have another shoulder bag to share with you guys this one has the vara bow it has a chain and leather strap detail very easy evening to morning bag it has this detachable pouch has two chain details on either sides and a big like it's it's quite a big bag like stores quite a lot of stuff very cute it's the tinier version of the massive bag that i showed you actually same style another bag that i have which is evening appropriate is this navy shoulder bag this is what the bag looks like it has a pocket in the back for your phone this is how it opens it has a nice compartment and stores quite a bit very evening appropriate can be worn even on a sundowner very smart next up you've probably seen me wear this a lot this is another bag which comes in a adjustable strap this one's not detachable but it's adjustable so you can make it longer or shorter depending on what you're wearing and uh, has two compartments it's one of the bags that Every time I'm in doubt exactly what I need to, what bag should I carry and I don't want to carry a black bag, I go for this one. It's a beautiful cream color, soft leather but very very used and abused. So we've reached the last of this video. This is a rendition or an ode to Kelly. It's their top handle Kelly inspired bag and again has a um, strap for uh, shoulder, detachable. That's the beauty of Ferragamo bags. Stores a lot and um, I love the fact that it's structured. It's so sophisticated and classic. This bag could easily be worn 50 years or 100 years from now and still look super stylish. It's definitely one of my favorite bags. Next up is this cute little bag. I've carried it very often. Doesn't really carry much. Maybe a phone and a wallet. Um, has this top handle and uh, also here you can attach the strap that it comes with uh, made out of suede again this was part of the Sara Bataglia collection um, I was talking about the fat strap that I was uh, telling you guys that I wore with the other bag this is the fat strap and this is the strap that comes with the, bra the bag doesn't carry much but a beautiful bag nonetheless last but by no means least is this suede bag my god this is such a beautiful bag guys i barely take it out because it's a little hard high maintenance bag but it's a shoulder bag which is a little lengthy so it goes all the way here the straps are not detachable this is what it looks like it has these tassel details which looks super fun bag never came to india i bought it from milan and um, just such a unique bag you'll not find anybody else carry it because hello it was not retailed in india so so there you have it guys that was my salvatore ferragamo bag collection there were <sighs> 39 bags if i counted them correctly all of them have been bought over a period of time of um, seven years and uh, don't get me wrong, I don't have uh, a problem uh, of spending too much, but the fact that I was working with the brand, I was representing the brand, it was important for me to also show the world that I'm as invested in the brand or my job as I am in their merchandise. Um, that's the haul. 
for caring instructions etc i'm going to be doing another video because this is anyways become a lengthy video and um, if you like it please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here just the usual drill this was a very talkative interactive uh, video i hope you like such unscripted no voice over sort of videos and um, i'm going to see you guys again with something fun and new